All right, you're welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Felix. Uh, I just want to show you a very uh, simple uh, step on activities in trading. And we have been trading, sport trading. But let me give you a very simple advice. Like I was telling one of our community members that over time, you guys will start trading margin trading of future trading as the case may be. Now, there's something you need to know about margin of future trading. Um, Binance is doing both. Binance is doing margin and doing future, okay? What's the difference between future and margin trading? So margin trading allow you to borrow money and add to what you have and trade either up or down. So margin trading, you are still trading spot but you are giving a borrowed money to trade it. I may not dwell on margin trading now, but I'm going to dwell on future trading. Most of these platforms you have, um, Bybit. You can see I have a long position open here on Bybit. You can see I'm at loss of $27 by 8% of my position. Right, I entered this position long, long, long time ago. 19,475, I don't even have time to check it. And market has done better after that, but I was not checking anything. Now, one of the things about future trading is that you, it better, you give, you give a close monitor. So if you give a close monitoring, of course, why not? You can do future trading. But other thing you must take note is that you don't trade future trading when the market is probably not decisive. If it's very decisive, you will know that market is going up, market is going down. You can enter a future trading. Again, you don't need to use too high leverage. As a beginner, what I would recommend is isolated and not 10. Like I see my own, I'm using 10, which is very wrong for a beginner. If you are a beginner, don't use 10. Maximum you use is five. Maximum you use is five. If not, just use two, three. Why? How? Good. What it means is that if you're entering a leverage trading, the future trading, uh, you want to use, um, so a uh, buy bit, let me start from, uh, let me go to Binance. Let me start from Binance. Let me start from Binance. So very simple. Uh, you want to enter a margin trading or future trading rather on Binance. Binance does all. So if you have your Binance already open, or created, you're already a user of Binance, you're not going to open another account. It's the same account you're going to use. But the difference here is this. The interface is different. So you must activate the interface, all right? The interface must be activated for you to do future trading. Now, let me go back to Binance, okay? This is Binance, okay? This is Binance. Uh, so you click, you log into your Binance, okay? I uh, just want to go to like usual um, interface of your Binance account. It's coming on, coming on. Okay. I just want to open the main interface of Binance. Okay, when you open your Binance, there's something you need to do. The money in your spot account or spot wallet cannot be in your future trading. Okay? So the money in your, in your, in your spot account cannot be in your future wallet. So you will need to move the money. Now, what I love in the Binance future trading is this. It allows you to trade USDT, okay? It allows you to trade USDT against the movement of most of those top coins, you know, top 100 coins and all of that. So you can trade and it give you the number of, you know, leverage you can use for any of them. So, but to activate your 
uh, margin, of course, you click on trade and click on margin. I'm not going for that. I'm going for leverage. So you go to derivatives and you see USDT and futures. A USDT margin with no expiration and up to 125 leverage. So you click on it. Now, if you have not traded margin or future trading on Binance before, it's going to pop up to show you a video for you to go through and learn about future trading and give you some caution of how risky it may be for you that you may lose money when you are trading future. Okay, so but to keep it simple, to keep it simple, once you watch the video, they ask you to do some test to understand that what you are doing, you know it. So you are going to like click, all right, and check all those details. Then they now allow you to say, all right, uh, to a disclaimer to agree that you agree, you understand what you are doing per time. Then you are fine. You need to uh, start trading. So you accept, and then there it open a different interface like this. And this your interface is not different from the interface of is not different from the um, the spot trading interface, right? Good. So what exactly am I going to do now? Now, if you look at this my own now, then you see isolated five x and all that. Why is it showing that there's a trade I enter which is XRP, right? I enter XRP at um, at um, all right, at zero point six two dollar. And now XRP market price is at our 0 0.616. So I'm at temporal loss, right? PNL minus 2.68%, which is about $1.321 or thereabout that I'm at loss, okay? Now, that's not the issue. The issue is this, you need to know what you are doing and what you're looking for. So let's go. Now, if on your own, when you come in, you see my own isolated and 5X, what you will see is cross. So you have to click on it to select, right? In your own case, you have to select it to be on cross. Then you need to click on isolated. I recommend isolated because you are going to use all your money. I will explain to us why we need to use cross anytime this time for use cross. I will tell you why you may need to use cross. Now you click on, in your own case, for the first time, it's going to show cross. Then you need to click on isolated and click on confirm. Now, if that, that is done, on the leverage, it's going to show 20 or depending on what leverage that particular coin is. Okay? In your own case, click it and you can see you can move around. Okay? If it's 100x, you want. If it's um, 5x, if it's 10x. So, but like I told you guys, what I recommend for a beginner is maximum of 5x. If not, if not, the what you should do is 2x, 3x, okay? Now, what, what, what was the reason for all this x, x, x? Okay, in a very usual trade, in a usual trade, in a usual trade, when you are trading, let's say, look at this now, you want to trade what of, uh, Hundred dollars. You want to trade with hundred dollars, okay? And you said use three x leverage, so it's going to magnify that hundred dollars into hundred multiplied by three. That will be three hundred dollars. Now, two ways: if the market move by one percent. Anyone who is trading with spot is going to make 1% of $100, right? But your own, you make 1% of $300. Or put it this way, you are going to earn 1% on your $100 times 3. So invariably, you have earned 3% on your $100. If you use 5x, that means $100 multiplied by five. So you are trading with your capital you have is $100, but what you're allowed to trade with is $500.
if you do 1%, market do 1%, like if you're trading BTC, Ethereum, whatever, and it did 1%. So that 1% is 1% times 5, that's 5%. So you're going to do 5% of your $100. If the market do 10%, that would be 10% of your $100, right? Times 5. So 10% of $100 is $10. Oh, sorry, the market do 10%? 10% of $100 is $10. That's what anyone who is doing margin trading, um, who is doing spot trading will make. You, on future, you're going to do 10% times 5. So that means your $100, you're going to make $50 because 10 times 5 is 50 and so you do 50 percent you do 50 percent of your hundred dollars or take it this way you do 10 percent not on hundred dollars but on five hundred dollars make sense and so that is the difference in future trading but can you see now the higher the percentage of leverage you use the riskier your money loss how if somebody who will lose, uh, if the market lose one percent generally, somebody who is doing spot trading lose one percent, right? One percent. But your own, you lose one percent times five. Okay, so that means you are losing five percent. So it aggravates your any and it aggravates your losses. What are the risks? That's why you do not need to open wide. Let me show us something on Storm Game. Okay, so if I want to do, how do I start? Number one, you have done this. The next thing you are now meant to do, if you have opened your interface, is to click on transfer. You can see now, transfer from where you are transferring from your spot to the future trading. So what can I transfer? USDT or BNB. Well, I always tell people to use to transfer BNB to their future trading is the because you will be charged lesser fee when you are using BNB for fee, right? So now, so let's say you want to transfer fifty dollars. So it's telling me I do not have. Okay, now transferring does not cost you anything. Look at it for instance. I have fifty dollars in my future trading. I want to transfer it back to spot you get it so available fifty dollars confirm yeah boom is transferred back from my right from my future trading to my spot account how do i know you click on my spot account now if my boat has not used it to trade because my boats probably are my trick commerce boat will always maybe there are trade i have checked and it has not been open and then my boat will always want to like uh, I use it to trade, okay? So let's, there we go, there we go, da, 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 da. Okay. That just, oh, this guy, he's a, you know, this uh, here, and now so that you didn't get confused because the interface can get people confused sometimes. All right, so this is, okay, so this is um, your sport account. I've gone back to my sport account. Come on. Okay, you can now see, I have $1.19 before, so $51 transferred back to my sport account, right? There's my sport account. Okay, yeah, I have an open trade for HBAR, and that's why my new trade had open uh, HBAR. And that's each bar, okay, yeah, good, good, good. All right, that's good, 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 good. There we go. Now, let's see, you can see, now, you, in your own case, you want to now trade your spot, uh, your derivatives. So you click derivatives, and then USDT future trading. Then there you go, bam. You click it, all right, and um, you want to return the money back, or you just want to transfer the money. Ensure you have USDT, or you can buy directly with your card, and so, now, what, do I, what should I do before I start trading? What was I opening? So you scroll up here, you see transfer, right? So transfer from spot, 
how much? 50 bucks. Yeah, that's why 50 bucks. And then you click on confirm. And then, boom, then you're going to see the money transfer to my, you can see the $50 is there already. So my money is transferred here. So those are the basics, all right? So I'm at loss on XRP. But there's one good thing about it is that on XRP, I'm at loss. Wow, what's happening? What's happening? It doesn't have anything. My liquidation price is 49 cents. And how many cents is XRP right now? XRP is about 61 cents or about. So no problem. So as the market move up, I already set my take profit to um, 87 cents or something. Okay. Now, so future trading, you can do a lot of things. You can calculate, you know, look at it. You can check your calculator. You can use your calculator. Let's say I want to enter, I say I enter long at uh, 5x. Please take note. You don't want uh, to do too much x. I have told you maximum you should do is five. So starting. Now, say I enter our XRP. So XRP zero point, uh -oh, it's a BTC USD. Okay, let's see, now I want to enter long on BTC. Okay, I want to enter long in, in BTC, uh, let's say at 19,240. Okay, and I say I want to exit at um, 19,500. Mm, BTC volume, 0. 0.0. .0 zero five okay so zero point zero zero five will be how much zero point zero zero five that's about ninety six box okay so ninety six box okay so calculate okay say margin initial so if you're in I'm gonna make six point seven six percent which is about uh, $1.30. So, but as soon as I enter, uh, there was a trade I've already entered on Storm Game at $19.160. Yeah, yeah, something like that. And uh, I said you should exit the market at 19,820. Yeah, yeah, and then how much was that I put in there? It was 50 bucks. Okay, 50 bucks. 50 bucks. So let's say 50 bucks is this 2597. 0 0.002594. 0 0.0. 2594, am I correct? I think so. Okay, 25. Okay, then this is about 002. Then I calculate. So, PNA, so I'm just going to have for about $7. So, the yeah, end of the day is, uh, but if I, if I go in for more beta portfolios. This is 0 0.01. It's an eight box. Uh, what about the trade you have entered? Um, 16,000, I think 16,632 dollars I entered. Let me get out of this, I think it was $20. But that was a wicked margin I used there was about 30 margin. But very risky, you can see. But if you have the hard to lose, why not? If you enter it that way. All right, so let me even say $19,400. 20 bucks. Yeah, $20. So twenty dollars times to check how much I used. All right, twenty dollars. Let's go there. Twenty multiplied by 
Okay. Uh, oh, okay, twenty dollars was around. Twenty dollars was around zero point zero zero nine or about that time. Zero, zero, zero. Yeah, at about that time, 16,000 to 19,000. That would be eight, nine, there about uh, eight. Yeah, stuff like that, I think so. Then go there to say 0 0.00. Uh, okay, the minimum here, so something like this. Yeah, so that's about $24 per feet for long position for this. So you can always calculate your profit ahead of time. So for margin trading, now you can see I'm on a very big loss. Uh, so. I do this on Binance and I do it on the Bybit, got my Bybit, right? You can see I'm at about $37 last right now. And my stop loss is down, down here, something like uh, $16,000 plus or there about, oh, I know $17,000 plus, yes. My stop loss is $7,700. And the liquidation price is about seventeen thousand six hundred twenty-five, right? Uh, to take profit, I set some price of take profit. So the same thing, what you do, the same thing you do on Binance is what you do here. But here, you have both inverse perpetua, like the fear, um, the USDT, and then you have. You have invest perpetua with coins, margin, BTC, USD, Ethereum, USD, um, US, USD, and XRP, USD. Then you have USD perpetua, that is USD margin, with BTC, Ethereum, Chainlink, Litecoin, and XTZ. Those are the coins you can do uh, perpetua. I think a bit keen not to do a very crazy correction, uh, which we said it may happen anytime. And I think he's starting right now. So then that there we go. We have done this. Okay. So the same thing you do, you saw me doing. So you can open to my uh, future trading at a go here by having BTC and having USDT. So you can enter for USDT uh, inverse perpetual um, yeah, BTC, just like go to trade here. So you can enter USD Perpetua and at the same time enter inverse Perpetua coin. So this one will be running, this one will be running. Uh, you can enter one to be short and enter one for the long. But I, I don't advise people to start doing margin trading or future trading anyhow. So use less, um, but this my own is too big, 10, for a uh, so start, I do very lesser volume and all of that. And the other one I, I play around here is Tom Game. Okay, so it's Tom Game. Let me show you something else, Tom Game. Oh, da, 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 da. Okay, it's Tom Game. It's coming on, so I use all of this, but I don't put too much money on Storm Game. Just funny money, just playing around with it. Sometimes I never expected any good trade, so I just like um, keep a fraction of money there and allow it to roll. Like I was explaining the other day uh, to some persons, uh, I never knew that I opened a trade at $16,000.
plus or less than $17,000. And it was a long position. I set the price ahead of time. So, and I left it there. And because so that things are, you need to know or why this term game is trying to open. Like now, always use stop limit, this limit. Now, the difference is that I can enter the trade and set a very low price. Look at it, I can say, I can say, enter trade when BTC slammed down to maybe 17, 000, maybe $18,000. $18,000, right? For BTC, right? Long, $18,000. Uh, 0.002. That will be average. So uh, you have to check how many X am I using? I'm using 5X. So what I need to enter that trade is $10. So I can say, uh, Zero point zero one. So, uh, thirty six bucks. Okay, out of my fifty dollars, so zero point zero five. Uh, -uh I need more than that. Zero point zero two. Zero point zero one two. 0.011, okay, 0 0.01, so uh, 0 0.009, okay, so 0 0.009 uh, on the use for trade. Now you can open profit and loss, right? You can set profit and loss. So take profit when the price now go back to like 19,500. Okay, stop loss, maybe 16,500. Okay, so that I've done all of these. Uh, so I wanna go long. So if I do that now, see what's gonna happen. Use limits because you determine what price you want to enter the trade. Then I click on lock, come. You get it now? Now, it has opened the position, but where is it? It's on order. Can you see? BTC 18,000, right? So anytime it gets to this price, okay? So I want to view, you know, anytime it gets to this, that's when the market is going to trigger. So I'm checking. Uh, that is that, 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 is that, 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 that. Uh, when you get here, sell off me and all that. You know, and so you can just leave it there. Anytime the market get down, slam down here, you can pick up the trade. So it, it's not compulsory you enter the market at the prevailing rate you made the market. So don't do that so that you can maximize good profit. So that's for you know, future trading. And then check the storm game if it's open now. There's no problem. Anything I get your problem. Coming on, and uh, I think uh, the network issue here. Okay, so let me come up. So use a stone gain. Okay, you can see stone gain. Um, I have some trade open already on stone gain, and I have no time to I We will close them. All right. Um, so, but you know, the same thing is the same rule as apply to anything called future trading. You do not uh, use too much uh, margin. So you can see my. Uh, 
Look at this trade. Since 26th of November, how much was my money? $20, but I used 30X, that's crazy. This 30X means uh, magnify $20 times 30, that's 600 bucks. So whatever profit the coin is doing, I'm gonna be making it on the 600 bucks. And you can see so far, the market has risen and my profit's already about $88. So with my $20, so instead of $20, that's gonna make profit of $68 with my $20, everything to be $88. That's already good profit, you know. But that was a very risky market. Maybe let's check. I set a take profit already at, right? Take profit already at $19,600. Okay, you can see where I said take profit. Now the market has not gotten there. And but if you get there eventually, I'm gonna make $102 as my profit. So it just shows you when I enter the market, $16,646. And my money there is just $20. They borrow me additional days, so I'm trading with $600. So with the profit moving, okay, so making operations, or so, you know, charge this, this is fee, funding fee, minus this, all of that. And so when our market gets, so I'm, I'm gonna make um, some profit. So, but you do not need to open trade like this because you can get liquidated as fast as possible, so you know. So you have, to, you have to be very careful. What is my liquidation price? You can check my liquidation price. Uh, is it that is here? All right, my liquidation price is sixteen thousand two hundred. You can you can see how you know, dangerous it was when I opened the trade. But why did I open this type of trade? Now listen, when I opened this trade, ordinarily is the market was ranging around that price will have been dangerous for me because it will not take the market to drop from 16,006 to 16,002. You know, like somebody is buying Bitcoin now at 19.6 and it's setting and it's using 30X and you're saying market when it dropped down to 19,002, liquidate me. You know, it's very fast, easy to get there. So the more margin leverage you use, the, the faster you can get liquidated. So what's the best advice to get liquidated? All right, you set a stop loss above the liquidation price, okay? You set a stop loss above the liquidation price. So the liquidation price now is $16,223. So you can set a, a stop loss at $16,250. So if the market is gonna get triggered at liquidation, it will have cut off your stop loss and then you are off the market, right? Make sense? So it's so important so you don't you know, waste your resources. Uh, or waste your trade. Now, another thing I always tell people is that for you to have a rebate when you are trading margin is that always use limit so that you can earn from funding fee of other people who are uh, a taker in the market. So you have to be a maker in the market by using limit, neither not, uh, sorry, not a market order. So you have to use limit so that you can be part of market maker and so you can have, you know, some, you know, some rebate and you will not be paying unnecessary what we call funding fee. So basically you can see Storm Game, assuming I want to enter Storm Game, maybe, maybe, uh, which other one can I enter? Litecoin, no, rather XRP, sorry. Litecoin, XRP. XRP is struggling on the ground there. And, uh, so, and also remember, it's not all coins that you can actually, you know, trade. It, it's only the one they made available. And that's why you see sometimes Binance will always announce, we have added this coin, we have added this coin and all of that. Now Ethereum, I, I will have entered Ethereum to experiment or storm game, but this is the challenge with Ethereum. I needed Ethereum to break you know, the resistance of uh, from 610 to $620. If not, Ethereum may flash back down to 568 or even 
if uh, it's unable to break off the, the resistance. But if it does, then we are going to meet Ethereum at, um, we're going to meet Ethereum at uh, how much? We're going to meet Ethereum at um, 700 to $900 where possible. So XRP2 is struggling to break out where it is. I would have loved to enter that, but uh, it's quite risky entering any position now. So the best for me is that if I want to, I can say, uh, maybe I want to use Ethereum for instance, I can say, okay, since I'm expecting that Ethereum should dump, and then I go to this, okay? And then, uh, so okay, just use 10X. So 10X, you can type in manually. Well, zero. Okay, how much uh, Ethereum do I want to use? How much money uh, do I want to deploy into Ethereum? So you have to check your money. So maybe uh, the money I have is just $24 as my balance. So maybe just $20. I'm going to use that. So $220 multiplied by 10 is going to be $200. That's the volume. So if you want to know, so click on it. He said the volume, the trade, the, the, the trade amount with the selected leverage be used to calculate the trade profit and commission. So uh, let's say I want to enter this guy now. Ethereum is going to be 0 0.3 Ethereum. But I'm at how much I don't want to enter? So I want to enter at 560. Get it? $560. Uh, uh sorry. Uh stop limit. Okay, yeah. So five hundred and sixty dollars is the rate at which I want to enter the market. Okay, so five sixty dollars. So take profit. So I can open take profit. Uh Take profit to be 50 bucks. <laughs> so what is it? 250%. Okay. Okay, right. Stop loss. Okay, so maybe I see minus 30%. So then, am I going long? Yeah, I will go long, and then you can go in long at this rate. You know, remember, you have to set your price So, and you ensure is click on stop limit. There you go, you click on buy. Okay, so, but I'm not entering now. I don't have that time for this guy. So, uh, so ladies and gentlemen, that's Joseph. And then, so you can see now, if I want to close my trade for this, I'm already in profit. But don't allow such greed to enter. You know why I don't bother? This was just 20 bucks. And so if it's some big money you are putting here, I meant to close the trade. I enter a new trade at this, and you see I'm already in this profit. And so you're already in this profit. Why not? You should just close your trade at the market price or within the range. Now, when you're closing a trade, I always advise for the take profit is that don't use market price. Always like, you know, like found take profit now for this. I can go now. What's the range of Bitcoin? Bitcoin is ranging um, uh, 19,200 and something. So I can just say, okay, close my market. I can come over here and adjust to 19,300. So the market will read there at my own limit and not by uh, the market price so that I can always have some rebate. All right, so that's top game. And so uh, you can do a lot of things there. Those people who are doing, uh, uh, I told people to be playing around with their cloud mining, funny, funny, funny stuff. And then I think I was getting about $5, but I don't even have time to always go there and do it all the time. And so, but people who have time, of course, you know, they are doing it regularly. And you can just imagine you're making about 10, 20 cents every day, just doing some, you know, at least a productive play. <laughs> it's a productive play, you know? So that's it. So margin of future trading, is good 
what is risky, so but you must be sensitive and and caution yourself. You have to discipline yourself over your um, your greed. So you have to discipline yourself over your greed, and then you can make them. So I use Tom Game, then Bybit, and then Binance uh, Future Trading. Okay, makes sense. So over time, we will learn more. Over time, we'll learn more on the okay. So over time, we we'll learn more on how to use all of those futures, other things we need to learn, other things we need to know, while trading, uh, all the stake and all of that. So margin, I told you is to borrow money. Margin will tell you to borrow money, uh, to borrow money, uh, in the market. And so when you borrow when you make profit, you sell and pay back. But if you don't make, the market go against you, then the, the Binance margin, uh, margin trading will liquidate your account and, and pay their loan and you may owe them. <laughs> so, so, but it's still a good deal. And so you can, you can always take advantage of it. All right. So thank you very much. And please uh, go back home and do the necessary thing. So those of us in who are subscribers be with me, and like you already know those coins that we used to, and of course the continuous signal will continue coming. And but if you're watching me, and you're not part of our community. I'm just using this medium again. This is a uh, 2020. Our subscription for be with me premium is $150 yearly. Our crypto academy training full courses is $250 once one off. But listen, if you pay this year, if you pay this year for the bill with me and the Crypto Academy, you will still be able to pay at that rate. We're still even running a promo right now. The promo is you are paying just 50%. So once um, $50, $150, you're paying $75. $250, you're paying $125, everything. Instead of paying $400, you're paying $200. If you pay that, for next year, your renewal will be on $150 for the bill with me. But if you are not on board this year, by next year, bill with me yearly subscription will be $750. And the, the, the Crypto Academy will be $1,000 for all the courses. Go to 112104. So you pay, rather than paying 250, which you have 50% discount right now because we ended the discount, but we want it to go around, then you will pay more than that when the year get there. So ladies and gentlemen, so those are the necessary stuff you need to know in the crypto space. My name is Mira Isifali Chimo. You get to know more about crypto. You want to chat with me on my WhatsApp, you can chat with me. My number is plus 234-8036-9245 and double eight. Plus 234-8036-9245-88. Felix is my name. Then you can chat on the comment box down now and then pick uh, the number, and if you don't have Binance account, Bybit, Storm Game, and all of that, you can click on the link to sign up for them or use the code to sign up for all those exchange platforms the Storm Game, the Bybit, the, 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 the was it called? The Storm Game, the Bybit, the. Tell me more. <laughs> Storm Game, Bybit. Uh, Binance, so you can use the code. Look at the code here. Look for uh, something. I think there has a code here, something. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. So there's the code. You can use the code, right? You use the code to register. And when you're registering, just 115600090.
as a code you want to sign up using my link right you want to sign up using my link then you can always go on and on and on and on and on to use my link to sign up ah okay so look at it and i think uh, for some for long time long years i don't even have time to check what's happening and that i've done i've already earned so far your account base commission rate you earn 0.01 btc man that's crazy a total number of friends 58 people oh <laughs> i never knew you know <laughs> this is crazy ah come on so i've been earning some fractions right i never knew so that means if if if, if as of today the current rate of what i've earned so far on binance uh, so you guys uh, it's about 202 dollars that makes sense oh. okay so that's it that's it so you can get started on your binance on uh, three commas on the um, uh on three commas yeah you don't have three commas account and then they can give you the link too on the chat box below thank you very much you have a nice time everyone go back to your trade and do the needful bye for now